China it's just like everything you have to hackle. Then you got carried away. Bargain. This is a pair of handmade shoes. Awkward and lovely, like the maiden behind the stand. Gold phoenix bloom unabashed, unread corduroy tops. White soles are made of layered cloth, pasted on the door with flower. A slow air dry in the moonlight, stitches lined up neatly, like terracotta soldiers on battleground. This is a pair of shoes. I've been seeking for years. The craft my grandma tried to pass on before I left home for good. Without trying them on, I know they would comfort my calloused feet, soles. Let me run like a whirlwind, make me feel like a sword drawn out of its teeth, a sheath. And we start a bargain. Ten, she says. For the sake of fate that brought you to this desert town, five. I say without thinking, a trip from my American partner. Good job, big sister. She laughs, deep creases flashing across her frostbitten face. I blush for no reason. Six. Then I say, avoiding her hands that bring back grandma. In her flickering shadow on the wall, threading a needle. Come on, sister, have some respect. Okay, seven can't go up anymore. Respect has to be mutual, don't you think? Barely enough to pay for the materials, sis. Her voice low, wet like the drizzle. No mercy. I repeat the mantra drilled into my brain. Peddlers are good at arousing sympathies. That's how they make a living. Eight, then. The highest I can offer. You peasants are getting greedier day by day. She raises her hands. Ten knotted roots. Ten question marks of childhood and wisdom. Do you know how many nights I stayed up to stitch the soles? Do you see my fingers? Do you see my eyes? See my little brother. Waiting for a bowl of noodles, my shoes could buy. His hunger does not lie. My callous does not lie. We do not lie. I walk. I'm not practicing the walkaway tactic that works like magic. I'm running from the mirror of her eyes. Stubborn girl, stubborn girl. I murmur to myself. It's just a game, just a game. She chases, thrusts the shoes into my hands. You won, miss. Take them for nine. What's nine yuan to you? A dollar twenty cents. And what's a yuan? Less than a dime. Would you even bother to pick it up from the street? I put away my victory in the trunk. Never give it a second thought. Until I'm pulled out of the line at Minneapolis Custom, maggot fingers prodding socks, underwear, wrapped gifts, and there it is, my bargain, red and loud like thunderclaps. You saved a dime, fool, but lost your soul. Thank you.